Many diets have come and gone, but DASH is here to stay. The DASH eating plan or diet has been around for decades, since there is good evidence to back it up. Scope Care was founded to assist carers, family, friends, and patients undergoing and recuperating from major heart surgery. It is a specialized organization that focuses solely on the cardiac rehabilitation process, providing healing gardens, online resources, meal plans prepared by medical and healthcare professionals, and counseling and support for patients and their loved ones on a holistic recovery journey. According to a study published in the April issue of the journal Stroke, following a blood pressure lowering diet may also lessen your chances of suffering a stroke. The study relied on data from diet questionnaires completed by about 74,400 adults, ranging from 45 to 84. The researchers assigned scores were based on how well the participants adhered to the dietary approaches to stop hypertension, or DASH diet. A plant-based diet that emphasizes fruits, vegetables, whole grains, low-fat dairy products, poultry, fish, and nuts. The diet has long been praised for its ability to decrease blood pressure, which is a significant risk factor for stroke. After an average of nearly 12 years of follow-up, researchers discovered that persons who adhered most rigorously to the DASH diet had a decreased risk of ischemic stroke. Ischemic strokes account for approximately 9 out of 10 strokes. They occur when a clot obstructs a blood artery supplying the brain. Combined with high quantities of antioxidants and plant-based foods, the DASH diet may help prevent stroke in addition to decreasing blood pressure. High blood pressure is a significant risk factor, potentially doubling or quadrupling your stroke risk if it is not controlled. High blood pressure is the leading cause of stroke in both men and women. The most significant change people can make in their vascular health is monitoring their blood pressure and, if it is elevated, treat it. DASH or dietary approaches to stop hypertension is a diet advised for persons who want to avoid or cure hypertension, often known as high blood pressure, and lower their risk of heart disease. Fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean meats are the mainstays of the DASH diet. The diet was developed after researchers discovered that persons who ate a plant-based diet such as vegans and vegetarians had considerably lower blood pressure. As a result, the DASH diet emphasizes fruits and vegetables while including lean protein sources such as chicken, fish, and legumes. Red meat, salt, added sugars, and fat are all limited in the diet. Scientists believe that one of the key reasons this diet can benefit persons with high blood pressure is to minimize salt intake. Let's learn about the DASH diet and how you may utilize it to improve your health. What exactly is the DASH diet? DASH stands for Dietary Approaches to Stop Hypertension. This eating plan was created to reduce the risk of hypertension, often known as high blood pressure. One in every three American people has high blood pressure, a significant risk factor for heart disease. When you follow the DASH diet, you consume more potassium, a mineral that is good for your heart. You also consume less sodium, which can help lower your blood pressure and enhance your cardiovascular health. The advantages of DASH are recognized. Several studies have found that those who follow the DASH diet can drop their blood pressure in a matter of weeks. However, it is not simply about lowering blood pressure. The DASH diet can assist you in losing excess weight and lowering your risk of certain health conditions. According to research, DASH may reduce your risk of breast cancer, colorectal cancer, and metabolic syndrome, a collection of diseases that increases your risk of type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and stroke. What's the most excellent thing about the DASH diet? It is adaptable. It does not necessitate special foods, and you do not have to go hungry or give up treats. DASH instead advises incorporating heart-healthy foods into your routine. Foods to eat on DASH. The DASH diet emphasizes eating heart-healthy foods found in your local grocery store. These foods are high in fiber, magnesium, potassium, and calcium by nature. They also have a low salt content. 
You'll consume many fruits and vegetables, whole grains, nuts, seeds, legumes, and low-fat dairy if you follow the DASH diet. Foods to minimize on DASH. DASH also recommends limiting your intake of items that can raise your blood pressure. These include fatty meats like red meat and poultry with the skin, full-fat dairy like whole milk, cream, and butter, solid at room temperature oils like coconut and palm oils, high sugar foods like candy, baked goods, and desserts, and high sugar drinks like soda, juice, and sweetened coffee or tea. According to Patton, if you follow DASH, you don't have to avoid these foods. Instead, make a conscious effort to make healthier choices every day. The plan will be easier to follow. Consider replacing a meat entree with a meatless one once per week, for example. Most Americans consume more meat than is necessary at the expense of their vegetable consumption. The DASH diet suggests no more than six ounces of meat per day. Eat more fruits and vegetables instead which include disease-fighting antioxidants, fiber, and other nutrients. DASH Sodium Guidelines Many people in the United States consume far too much sodium or salt. A high sodium diet can also raise blood pressure and increase the risk of heart disease. The DASH diet restricts sodium intake to 2300 milligrams per day. However, if you want to see faster effects, stick to the low sodium DASH diet. On this diet, you should consume no more than 1,500 milligrams of salt each day. The DASH diet, which consists of nutrient-rich foods and lower sodium intake, causes lower blood pressure. Several studies have found that adopting the DASH diet reduces blood pressure quickly, in as little as two weeks. Ways to reduce sodium. The majority of sodium consumed does not originate from the salt shaker. Even if they don't taste salty, processed, and packaged meats, are frequently heavy in salt. Restaurant and takeaway items can also contain a lot of sodium. If you're on the DASH diet, check food labels for sodium content and keep track of how much you're getting. If you eat out, try these sodium reduced strategies. If available, inquire about the salt content of the food. Request that your food be made without extra salt, MSG, or seasonings containing salt. Limit or avoid sauces and condiments that are rich in salt or request them on the side. Look for phrases like smoked, cured, pickled, soy sauce, and broth to detect high sodium content. Instead of salty snacks like chips or fries, serve fruits and vegetables as sides. Meal Preparation for the DASH Diet Everyone's DASH Diet meal plan will be different. The goal is to prioritize good foods while avoiding less healthy ones. When grocery shopping, load your baskets with nutritious foods and low-sodium boxed, bagged, or canned options. Original or quick-cooked oats in a canister, for example, have zero milligrams of sodium, whereas instant oatmeal packets have sodium added. Beans are also a vital component of the DASH diet. If you don't have time to cook dry beans, canned beans are an excellent substitute. Look for no-salt added varieties and make sure to rinse them thoroughly. Build your meals around items you enjoy that are DASH compliant. Do you dislike green peppers? Instead, try red peppers, celery, or carrots. Make your favorite stir-fry, but use less salt, extra vegetables, whole grain brown rice instead of white rice. Is it effective for everyone? While studies on the DASH diet found that those with the lowest salt intake had the most significant decreases in blood pressure, the effects of salt restriction on health and longevity are not apparent. Reduced salt intake has a considerable effect on blood pressure in patients with high blood pressure. However, the impact of lowering salt intake is substantially smaller in persons with normal blood pressure. The hypothesis could partly explain that some people are salt sensitive, indicating that salt has a higher effect on their blood pressure. Scope Care is a secure and healing environment for patients and carers, seeking to make every part relatable and motivating. 
from new and educational social material to stress-relieving walks through the green spaces. Subscribe to see more videos like this.